Hi grade fours! Uh, we are still busy with fractions and today I just want to give you a little bit of extra information for the activity you're going to do today and also tomorrow. So we looked at seeing one shape as fractions when we divide one circle or a square into different parts and we looked at how we can take different objects and divide it in fractions by grouping them like if we share something between friends. Now today I want to show you how we can view fractions on a number line. So if you forget about number lines in terms of number one, two, three, four and so on and if you see the number line as one whole then all the little parts in between will be fractions. If you think about it this way, let's say I have a ruler and I break my ruler into different parts like that. It's one ruler, but each of those parts will be a fraction of the ruler. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six parts. So this part is one sixth. This one is the second sixth, that is the third one, that is the fourth one, that is the fifth one, and that is the last sixth. So it's almost like that. If we look at this number line over here, these zero, that's when I have nothing, and these one, that's when I have one whole ruler or chocolate or whatever you want to envision. Now I've divided this one whole into different parts and remember on a number line we don't count the lines, we count the spaces in between. So here we have one space, two spaces, three spaces, four spaces. So if I divide one whole into four parts that means I have quarters. Okay, so over here will be one quarter, one of the four parts. If I move on, I will have my second quarter over here. So from here to here is one quarter, but from here to there is two quarters. Then I have three quarters, and over here will be four quarters, which is one whole. Okay. Let's look at the next one also. Let's count the spaces. One, two, three, four, five spaces between zero and one. That means my whole was divided in five spaces. That means it's fifths. So over here, the first line will be one fifth, then two fifths, then three fifths, then four fifths and then five fifths which is one. So in your activity what you have to do is to figure out which number, which fraction will be at each of those lines. So they will for example give you that one and that one but they'll leave these two out and say this is A and this is B. Then you have to give the value of A and B. That means A will be one fifth and then we have two fifths so the next one b will be three fifths you can just answer it like that okay guys have fun bye